What's going on everyone? My name is Jeremy. This is JMED's Brick Clicks. Got a custom Lego backhoe for you guys. I had a request for this uh, maybe a couple months ago and then I got reminded because I honestly forgot myself. So here is my little custom Lego backhoe. We're going to look at some source material that I got. We're going to look at a set that I got as a kid back in the 80s to maybe try to use a little bit as reference as well. So let's take a look. We use the yellow bucket, the arm system for the lift arms. That's pretty much been the standard now on a couple different uh, Lego tractors and the new backhoe that doesn't have a bucket on the back that came out in 2023. It's got like a drill bit. I don't understand that. They need to make a new rear piece bucket. But anyway, this is the new lift arm system. It works. So our bucket can dump that ratcheting system there where you can lock it in place. Um, made, I've got those two little grill pieces there on the front and try to move it to where you guys can see it. And it hits it just enough to where it doesn't allow it to go all the way down. But the bucket is right there. So you're basically just millimeters above the ground level and you can still go forward now if you go one more down yeah i can go and lift the front wheels off the ground so kind of really like the way that turned out let's look at the engine block try to do some shaping with it a little out of line there there we go we got our lights can't do anything about that i really wish I could, but it's about the only thing bad. But when it's down, at least you don't see it. Uh, we got our step up to get in the cab. Our fenders, yellow, and then I did a black interior. Go to the other side, got our exhaust. Uh, one of the new things I noticed on that new Lego backhoe, they don't have outriggers to put down to stabilize your rear end. So I think that may have been a miss or maybe an oversight. I, I don't know. Here's our back. So we got our two outriggers here. And yeah, we can lift up the back end, spin them tires. Do it on the side here. So however much we need to go. Now this, that's an older piece. They don't make this piece anymore. Actually pretty much this whole setup. So we've got this rotating piece here which you can see it. I'll just pop it off. They don't use those lift arms anymore. The one by six with the, with the teeth on the end. So if you want to make this, get on BrickLink and look up these pieces. I got two of them there. Added some yellow for accent. And then, yeah, the biggest miss right now, Lego doesn't have a, a rear bucket that's a small piece to... Uh, to use for this right now so any like excavators or any backhoes they're really out of line now just leaving it like that it doesn't look like a bad little tractor i can't really complain being a tractor maker and collector myself take off the outriggers i'm fairly happy with it so we'll put this back on we've got a pretty decent reach okay got it up our safety light on now here's our bottom nothing extravagant and kind of see how I done that front just to kind of give it a front axle look to it I'll just pop that off so you guys can see that if you want to build this yourself I don't have any instructions um, for it not really learned all the the details of doing the the online software I don't honestly know if some of the older pieces will be on there to choose from. So, pop this off. I think I just lost a little piece. I heard it fall. There it is. Oh, bumped the camera too. So there's my cab top. Added a light piece on the back. Here's the inside. So we've got our levers for the hydraulics for the rear bucket. And you can just sit him, turn him around, have him in there. I just grabbed a random minifig. I think this is actually a criminal. 
Maybe not. I don't know. I just grabbed one that didn't, uh, yeah, at least he had an orange safety vest. Yeah, it is a criminal. Look at it. Well, maybe he's a worker because he's got dynamite in his back pocket. So, yeah, that's what a backhoe driver needs for sure. <laughs> so, anyway, like I said, resource material. Um, just get online. And here's one of the pictures I used just for that to try to get some idea. So, black fenders was a big thing. Um, black hood, yellow base, yellow top, black top. I tried both. I have both pieces. Uh, I don't have it right here handy, but yeah, I tried to make sure I added enough yellow that you knew what it was. Yellow rims for sure. Uh, other than that, I can't really think of anything else. Now, when I was a kid, I got a backhoe and it was actually one of my favorite sets. I think the number 6686 is the set number. It came out in the middle 80s, and it's this little set right here. I'll turn this one around. So, came with a minifig, came with some other little pieces. Stay tuned to the end. I've got a screenshot of what the instructions look like. I've got the instructions somewhere. I just don't want to dig them out. This one actually had the outriggers that you could put down, and little bit smaller piece see the bucket came in yellow I went back and forth with the yellow bucket or black bucket I've got extra yellow ones I've also got a gray one uh, I just went with black it didn't matter but yeah you had that full reach so that's where I got the idea for the back end is off this set the outriggers yeah I just beefed them up bigger tires why not and be able to use a ratcheting system to where they can be planted firmly on the ground and actually raise the back end up. That was one thing I was really going for. Um, first glance, it looks a little stubby. And I thought that too. And honestly, I had the tires farther out to the front like this. And looking at it like that, you may like that better. I don't know. I'm kind of indecisive. When you see it like this, or when it goes back to the center, leaving it like that, I'm more content with it if I just leave it. So I really, I'm not sure. Having that as the example, that was the same problem for years. When I built this, I thought that was wrong, and I even the instructions. So even as a kid, I would put it out there because I think that looks way better. So I, I guess it's been a lifelong problem of figuring out where to put the front tires on a backhoe. <laughs> anyway, that is what I've got. Now, this wasn't the original design when I started this. I had this whole front end. It was actually longer. I had longer lift arms. I got all the way through and realized, oh, I'm not, this isn't right. So here's what that looks like, because I actually did a video before I tore it apart and fixed it the way this is. All right, so here's what it looked like originally. And I was honestly semi-okay with this, but I mean, as you can tell, you know, before I switched to the four long, I had six long ones on these Technic pins, and it just doesn't, it looks off. And it, it's hard to explain, but you know what I mean when you see it like this, as opposed to the other way. So, I mean, like that, doesn't look that bad. I mean, we've got good bucket height, lift height there. And you can see kind of like my little build pile stuff. Kind of just keep everything right here my all my connectors and stuff right there and then my yellow so oh my yellow plates actually they're just out of sight but yeah that's what it looked like before and just trying to figure out like you know where the, the lift arms were originally and that's how they look like originally and yeah it just doesn't even that looks a little weird. That right there doesn't look bad, but that just looks dumb. So <laughs> I know we're talking like a couple 
inches and yeah whatever but anyway just wanted to show you this kind of the process of it where it's build it see what it looks like and think about it now and then change it so all right back to what it really looks like now looking at that original design and looking at this one I'm way happier with this it is a little shorter stubbier but when you look at that original design what when what one looks like in real life my reference material I'll put that up here or unless I'll put it at the very end uh, yeah that's what it looks like it's got that bigger sweeping front end and everything is just the tires are compact together everything's so much more compact than I guess what we're used to which is kind of that which was kind of the 80s design was that so sign of the times 35 years or so a difference apart plus 35 plus um yeah what do you guys think i'm happy with it i know it took me i want to say two honestly that it's sad two to two and a half hours to build starting from scratch getting it right figuring out the lift arms which was long were, were longer um color mixing the colors up trying to figure out what's black what's yellow but yeah that's what it is anyway thanks for watching everyone hope you liked it if you guys have any questions let me know check out my other videos Got a lot of farming stuff a lot of city stuff a lot of random stuff so <laughs> we'll see you in the next one